How far can you throw it? Show me how far you can throw. Whoa, that was a good throw. Turn it, there you go. Hold the pole. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go eat supper, buddy? Life comes back on, on the farm during the springtime. Oh, you got a rock? My three-year-old son, West, is, is definitely being trained to become a farmer. West, hey. He loves every minute of it. What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> you little sport. You want more? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for a good day, Lord, and we just thank you for... In fact, if I leave the house and, and he knows I'm gonna go ride in the tractor or do something else on the farm, he'll, he'll just lose it if, if he knows that he can't come with me. It's work for me, but it's also fun, and I think he sees that through his eyes, too, that farming is a lot of fun. And we can enjoy our time together on the farm while we're working as well. Ride the tractor! You wanna go ride the tractor? Same heart. Good job. Sit down. It's never what you're doing. It's it's always what you're doing and who you're with while you're doing that task. And really. back in the day during the depression, my great grandma actually purchased this farm and moved from a farm over about 15 miles away. I actually am living in the house my grandma was living in. Couldn't I? I grew up in the house my mom is still living in that my dad grew up in. Family farming has is, is always been around and it's always been a vital part of this nation. We go through some, some hard times and some good times and that's just kind of the, the cycle of farming. Precision agriculture is really taking over the industry where we're trying to, to get our efficiencies increased and really look at fields, these large field sizes on an acre or even sometimes a sub acre area of land where we're changing population of seeding or fertilizer, or those chemicals, irrigation as well. There's an app out there right now that I'm currently using and, and I'm able to turn on and turn off or speed up or slow down my center pivots from anywhere that I have cell service. The drones that we're flying are, are able to capture images and pixelation of uh, almost one square centimeter resolution, which means we can start to apply different uh, inputs at that same rate. The majority of the farms in the United States are still family owned and operated. I'm passing on this farm to the, the fifth generation um, as far as we're concerned. Ready? The future of farming looks, looks really bright for a lot of the students out there right now. We still need to feed the United States and we need to clothe and, and fuel. So I think there's always gonna be a need for that. The students going into that have definitely chose a wise and, and needed passion. My name is Andy Bartlett. I farm in Marino, Colorado, and I'm proud to be a CSU Ram.